What's happening, everybody? Welcome to Tanner Does Tech, where tech swag and life just ain't the model. It's pretty much the way things are done around here. So let's get on with the video. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's Dan Tanner, the bad boy of tech, and I got another OBS tutorial for you people. Yes, I know I made one a couple of months ago or whatever, and those settings was hot, and it had you on deck. But guess what? I learned some more stuff that I have you right and precise and have your live streams and recorded videos smacking with OBS. So enough of me yapping, I'm about to make it happen. Let's go. Now I'm about to go into the settings, select the settings tab or whatever. Now in the general section, don't change anything here unless you want to change the thing. That's about it, you know, but you're here. So you already know what pretty much what you're doing. Now stream, I stream to YouTube, so I choose streaming services, select the YouTube or whatever. Then the server, the primary YouTube and just server or whatever, then I paste it, copy the paste of my stream key right here. Now it's time to get to the good stuff, people, no doubt about it. Select output, click on streaming. Now the audio track, one or two, or how many audio tracks or mic microphone devices that you wanna play or whatever, select them. Then for the encoder, select x264 so all windows 10 computers are running off x264 so as long as you get windows 10 push it 8 gigs of ram <laughs> and you got an i5 at least you're good now to rescale output i want you to check that and select 1280 by 720. the rate control cbr the bit rate i'm pushing 5000 right now i can do that I got a decent computer, but I, I recommend anything from 3,500 to 5,000 because everybody's computer is different. Everybody got different brands and everything, but between that range or whatever, everything will be constant and everything and your frames won't dip off for anything. Now for the CPU usage for, I mean, preset, not format, set that to very fast, have your profile on high and you'll be good. Now I go back up to the clock, I mean, to the top. Click on recording, output mode, select advanced, type standard, recording path, wherever you want to record it or whatever. I usually save mine in a video setting, I mean in a video folder or whatever. Then a the recording format, MP4, that's, a, that's the standard format when it comes to videos nowadays. Audio tracks, I selected two. You can select how many of them that you want to use or whatever when you record. The encoder, X264 again. Don't check the rescale output because you already selected 1280 by 720 on the other one, so you're good. Then when you go to the bottom down here, rate control, constant bit rate, push it to 5500. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make it nice and crispy. It's a good look. Then a keyframe interval, have it at zero. CPU usage, faster. Profile, high. Tune, animation. So if you're into gaming and everything, this will have your gaming videos looking pretty damn lit. No doubt about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's skip audio for a minute. Go down to the video. Now for your base canvas resolution, select, 19, select 1920 by 1080. Then the output scale solution uh, resolution rather is 1280 by 720. Man, this works for me all the time, people. I'm telling you. Then for the common FPS values, frames per second values, I selected 30. I know some people push 60, but I like to make it a little bit easier on my computer and push 30. Man, the average the average human eye can't tell 60 from 30 just by looking at it anyway. No doubt about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let's go down to the advanced tab right here. Click on that. Process priority, normal. Renderer, direct, what, direct 3D 11 right there. Color format, NV12. YUV color space 709 color range YUV color range that is full and everything else leave it at default and everything I didn't pretty much touch none of that or whatever and man your recordings will be awesome no doubt about it no doubt about it people I love OBS so I had to share this with you guys no doubt about it people well man Thank you guys for joining me for this tutorial you dig. And if you like what you heard and like what you saw, please give your boy a thumbs up because I'll appreciate that. You know what I mean? And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet to feel the information, the swag, and the madness of Dan Tanner, man, do that because I appreciate that too. All right, everybody. Get money. 
get respect and enjoy your tech, <laughs> be easy.